Hey, welcome back everybody. Patrick here. Moving on to the next question. We have to use the chain rule to find dy by dx when x is equal to 3. And we got these two functions here. So we got y equals 2u cubed plus 3u squared minus 1. And then we got u is equal to 1 over 2 minus x. And notice that we have to find dy by dx, meaning that we have to have a function y in terms of x. Well, notice here we have a function y in terms of u and then a function u in terms of x. So there's a couple of ways that we can do this. We can take this u function and sub it in here. So instead of writing u cubed, we would have like 2, 1 over 2 minus x cubed. So we just took this expression for u and plugged it in here. We would do the same there and then we'd have the minus one and then we would differentiate that and then we would plug in x equals three. However, I would recommend going another route. We can actually use Leibniz notation. So we know that dy by dx would equal dy by du times du by dx. We went over this in the lecture videos. So what you can do is you could take the derivative of this separately and then this separately and then just multiply them. And I think that's easier to do because these functions are easier to derive than if we were to make one function by plugging this into here. So dy by du would be what? We would just have to differentiate this here. So it would be 6u squared plus 6u. The minus 1 would differentiate to 0. And then du over dx, we would, a uh, couple of different things we could do here. Let's actually rewrite this as 2 minus x to the power of negative 1. So I'm going to bring it up. And then we can apply the chain rule on this. So we would bring the um, negative down. We'd have 2 minus x. We would subtract 1 from the exponent. And then we would multiply it by the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 2 minus x is just negative 1. We derive that negative x. So negative, negative turn into a positive, And then we'd have 2 minus x squared at the bottom there. So du by dx would be 1 over 2 minus x squared. It's just the derivative of that function there, of the u function. So now we got a general expression for dy by dx, but we have to find dy by dx when x is equal to 3. So an x value of 3, notice we could plug it into this bracket. So I'm going to write another line here, dy by dx, and we're doing it for when x is equal to 3. So we can plug in 3 into this expression, so 1 over 2 minus 3 squared. However, notice that we can't plug this x value of 3 for this expression, dy by du, because it's in terms of u. So what we have to do is we have to find what the u value would be when x is 3. So we would plug in a value of 3 for x here. So when x is equal to 3, that means u is equal to 1 over 2 minus 3. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. 1 over negative 1 is just negative 1. So we would plug in negative 1 for the u values here. So we'd have 6 times negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1. And then notice that this bracket here will become 0. This bracket would just be 1, and then 0 times 1 is just 0. So that is the answer to this question, dy by dx when x is equal to 3, the derivative is equal to 0. So we did the chain rule in this way using Leibniz notation. So dy by dx equals dy by du times du by dx. However, as I mentioned, another way you can do it is you can take this function, this whole bracket, and plug it in for all the u's here and then just derive that. Plug in x value of 3 at the end and you should still get the same answer, 0.